This is Rain, and she is a very, very lucky girl. In this picture, she's still in my arms on the way to the emergency vet. So what happened is that we were camping uh, Sunday through Tuesday up north, and we got rained out, so we left early on Tuesday. And on our way, uh, just before the freeway, we were on a highway uh, where everybody's going about 60 miles an hour. Uh, we saw a small gray animal get hit by a car. And at first I thought it was a little gray squirrel, um, but I saw it like roll and writhe after it got hit. So I thought, oh no, we need to go back and make sure, you know, we can't do anything for it or help end its misery. Um, and we went back, we straddled it. We still couldn't see what it was, but it wasn't moving. So we thought, okay, it's dead. We turned around again and she had started to try to get up and that's when we could tell it was a kitten and so we blocked the road with the car and I got out and grabbed her and uh, we raced her to the nearest emergency room that was in Grand Rapids um, and in about two hours they could see her. She has a broken right femur another tear in her flesh on her right leg just below the knee and um, what they called a degloving of her lower lip. Um, basically the skin on her lower lip and jaw was torn off um, or ripped off of the bone. So she had some minor surgery to correct um, the injury below the knee and her lip. And you can hardly tell by looking at her on the lip because all the stitches are on the inside. And so then we brought her home Wednesday morning. And she's supposed to be on crate rest. And this is a big dog crate that is lined with cardboard to prevent her from trying to climb the bars and hurting her leg. You can see my hand here on her. I am only 5'3", so I have relatively small hands. And my hand just looks gigantic compared to her. And the vet does think she's a feral kitten. Um, so, you know, she's pretty scared of me and everything on day one. And she wouldn't stand to eat or anything, so I have to spoon feed her, which is okay. And she drinks water if I hold the bowl it's just right up girl. under her chin. Yeah, it's a good, good girl. Look at the difference in affect just from day one to day two. We're about to do an evening feeding and I'm getting her meds ready. This one is for pain. And this one is for pain and this one is an antibiotic she is also supposed to wear this e-collar look at the size of this thing I can't put that on her <laughs> it's to prevent her from licking the sutures in her leg but geez that would just slip right off her stomach. It's huge. So I'm just monitoring. Make sure she doesn't mess with it so much. And so far it still looks pretty good. And we've got a wellness check at our regular vet on Monday. Mm -hmm. 